foggy, I never liked to be touched. And then one day she showed up and a wire coming out of her mouth. She actually accepted me to pet her. I was like, I'm going in. So I opened and went in, grabbed the hook. Since that day, she's become the shark that loves to be touched the most. When I start removing hooks, other sharks start showing up with hooks. I've become obsessed with removing these hooks. I do believe they communicate and their shark dentist is in. The shark would come in, eat to my stomach, and just sit there, and I just pet her. You can feel the jaw open and closing on your lap, which is one of the most beautiful things to feel. What I try to make people understand is sharks are not a machine, they're not a monster. This is a living, feeling creature. The shark shows up with a hook that I can tell is very uncomfortable. My brain cannot focus. It's not that as soon as they come in, I try to remove the hook. It takes a long time to build the trust. Some hooks are very easy. Some of them require weeks. For as feared as they are, it's one of the most vulnerable animals. Their vulnerability makes me want to protect them. It was a childhood dream. And my dream job was to be an underwater scuba ranger. To go roam around the oceans of the world and make sure that the reef is protected and I will have sharks for friends. I had the opportunity to take a trip to learn how to scuba dive in the Bahamas. I did my shark feeding dive and I was just like, they dive with sharks, they work with sharks. I went back home and dropped everything. I told them, I said, I'll be back in a year and moved to the Bahamas 24 years ago. I built this relationship by watching and by changing as the sharks changed. It's a, such an easy animal to be with. I read the sharks the same way I try to read my dogs. I actually read my sharks better than I read my dogs. I can see when a shark is having an uncomfortable day and I can tell when the sharks are mellow. The food is what allows the sharks to come close enough for me to reach out and pet them. But then it's their decision to stay. I do recognize each and every one of them. I have grandma, I have Stompy, I have Trek, and I have others. These are my sharks, my babies. With the right knowledge and understanding, I think is one of the safest animals in the wild to be with. They're capable of understanding when we have food and we don't, and when we don't, they just not approach. I wear a chain suit to handle them. Not because they're aggressive or anything like that, but in the unlikely event, they decide to bite. I call it the barrier that drops the barrier. Any day and spending the water with sharks beats anything else for me. They're not these vile creatures. They're just, they're, they're so simple sometimes. There's no shark infested waters. The waters belong to them and we need sharks in the waters. These are the ambassadors and they're my sharks and I will take care of them as much as I can.